What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing another shoe review of the all new just released TYR L1 weightlifting shoe. Now this shoe has been developed with Squat University to be the newest and latest wide toe box weightlifting shoe. First things first, I just want to talk about the appearance of these shoes. I haven't actually tried them on yet, so you guys are going to be getting a full review of these today, exactly what I think of them. I also have not paid for these shoes, okay? I'm gonna put the pricing of these shoes in here, in this box, so you get an idea of what they cost. They have been sent to me by TYR, but I did tell them that they were gonna be getting an honest review so that you guys know whether these are worth it or not. So first impressions of the shoe. I like the fact that it's completely bright white. It looks really fresh and it's got a nice gum bottom on the bottom of the shoe. One thing that I would say from my own experience with white weightlifting shoes, they never stay this white for very long. Obviously, if you're in the gym, it's dirty, they're gonna get scuffed up. So you gotta be prepared for that if you're gonna opt for the white color. But I do believe they come in three different colorways at the moment. The key selling point for this show is the fact that it has got a wide toe box. But one of the things I wanna show you with this shoe in particular is how it compares to my personal favorite weightlifting shoe, which is the ROM 2. So I'm just gonna bring over here my ROM 2. These are the shoes I normally lift with here, which is an everyone's favorite. Okay, we're gonna place them side by side so you get an idea of what the shoe looks like next to the ROM 2. Now, I don't know if they intended this shoe to be wider than the ROM 2. It is very marginally wider on the appearance side of things, but actually from base of the shoe, there's not a huge amount of difference between them as you can see here. However, looking down on top of the shoe, it definitely looks wider looking down on top of it. You can see that there's a lot more room on the outside edges of the foot compared to the ROM 2. Now, from my personal opinion, I don't, I have a very wide foot, I'd say, and it's extremely flat, I have no arch at all. I don't mind the ROM 2 and how tight it feels in the toe box, so it's gonna be interesting to see if it feels a bit, a little bit too much space in the TYR compared to the ROM 2 when we actually give these a test later on. One thing that I really like about what TYR have done with this shoe is the fact that they've put two straps on it. Double straps on the weight of things shoe is extremely important. It definitely feels for me, that it helps keep my foot planted in the shoe much better um, with two straps than it does with one. Have a look at how the heel height differs between the ROM 2. So as you can see with them side by side, there's next to no difference here in the heel height of these two shoes. Very similar. I presume they've probably styled a lot of the heel height and the attributes of the, of the new TOR off the ROM 2 because it is so popular and a lot of people like it. So as far as I'm concerned on heel height, they look about the same. And then in terms of width at the back of the shoe, I'd say if anything, the TYR is a lot wider at the back, which is definitely gonna be really beneficial for stability in the catch position of the lift. So that's one thing I've noticed right away without even trying this shoe on. I like the look of the width on the back of this shoe compared to the ROM 2. This inner sole looks crazy from the inside looking down on the shoe. So I'm gonna pull it out. I've never seen anything like this before when it comes to an inner sole for a weightlifting shoe. It's got kind of two steps in it. I'm not sure what that's gonna be like when you actually try the shoe on, whether it's gonna be comfortable or not, but you can see how it's got like this hugging inner sole to support the arch. And then again on the width there, it's very flimsy still though, but definitely in the back heel arch of this, it's a lot more supportive than something else that I've seen. But I do again want to compare this to the ROM 2's inner sole, which is a lot more heavy duty, noticeably weight wise, this is a lot heavier than this one is. I'm also gonna put these on top of each other because again, these shoes are marketed and sold as a wide toe box shoe. Okay, so I've just put the inner soles inside each other there. And you can see that width wise, it's bang on to the ROM 2. The next thing that I wanna do and look at, because again, for you guys, it's something that you always care about, is the weight of the shoe. Now, holding them side by side, I would say there's very minimal difference in the weight of these two. They both feel extremely solid, so I wouldn't say it's by any means a heavy weightlifting shoe. I'd say it's about pretty average. And then the final thing that I wanna kind of talk about now here is the tongue. Because again, a lot of people like a thick tongue on their weightlifting shoes. This is 
Very low profile, very similar to what my ROM 2s is as well. If anything, I think the shape of this is a little bit better than the ROM 2, because you can see how the ROM 2 has a tool tongue. That's not ideal when you're moving forward in the bottom position of the snatch or in the clean, your kind of um, shin will hit this bit. On this one, it's kind of cut a lot more sensibly than on the ROM 2, so I'd say that's a good bonus. All in all, there's good flexibility in the toe box. You can see there's loads of movement here. I'm gonna show you this in comparison again to ROM 2. ROM 2 is a lot more rigid in the front of the shoe. The only time where that's obviously beneficial is then when planting with the front, oh, with the rear foot on the jerk. You need a good amount of movement there in the front of the shoe, which it seems like it's got which is absolutely great. So all in all, first impressions of this shoe. Looks wise, I think it's sleek, sharp. I like the two straps. I know the white isn't gonna last for very long. All round shape of the shoe is good. I'd say looking down there, I don't like it as much as the Nike, just purely because it does look super wide. Uh, which I'm not sure I'm gonna like, but again, I'm gonna try these shoes on now. I got these in a size UK nine. Now, that's normally what size I would go for in a weightlifting shoe. My actual shoe size is a UK 10. So I always go down one size, uh, just cause I like them feeling super snug when I'm wearing them. Also take a look at my foot. Like I said, I've got an extremely flat foot. So anyone that has a wide foot or a wide toe, then you're gonna get a pretty honest opinion here on how they feel. So, Definitely tight, which is good sign. Oh, okay, that's definitely too small for me. Straight away when I put this shoe on, in comparison to what I'm used to, this my toe is pushing right up against the front of this shoe, uh, just shape-wise, because it's square at the toe. It's like my big toe is hitting, but my other one isn't. One thing that I'm noticing when I'm pulling my toe up here in this shoe, like there's a lot of space here. Okay, I like the fact that in these shoes, when I've done the laces up, you know how I said about the tongue being flatter on these shoes? I do like that because again, in terms of my range of motion here, when I'm in my bottom position of my squat, it doesn't feel like it's cutting in like it would do if I was in my other shoes. Um, but. Definitely for me, they feel very different than what I'm used to when I'm wearing my weightlifting shoe. It's definitely pushing on this toe on the front. But other than that, they feel pretty solid. Like, I'd say it's a little bit, I'm hanging over the side a little bit on the lower part of the shoe on this one. Uh, the left one seems okay. Maybe my right foot's bigger than my left slightly, but I don't normally feel that when I'm lifting. It may be something that when I start lifting, they'll break in. Some shoes do need breaking in more than others. So wait till we get to the gym and give these a go. But initial impression is they do feel wider, like there's more space in the toe box than there is on the Nike one. So just come down to the gym and I'm gonna be doing split jerks today in my training session. I think this will be a really good exercise to kind of test these shoes out because that will really give me a good feel of what the toe box feels like in these shoes when I'm doing the split jerks. I want to be fair to these shoes because they are definitely a size too small for me, if not half a size too small to me, for me. So I don't want to bully them too much. Um, but I will still try and give you guys the best insight as possible as to what they feel like to lift in. And we'll also get to see whether these break in at all over the training session. Cause that's something as well, but if you're lifting in a new pair of shoes, some shoes break in, some shoes don't. Depends how soft the leather is. So we'll get a bit of a insight to that now, but they've laced up nice and easy. We'll get stuck into it. shoe actually feels really good when I'm landing. I don't know what rubber they've put on the bottom of these, but it feels super sticky when I'm landing in the jerk, which is a good sign. They actually feel a lot better than I thought they were gonna feel to lift in so far, which is good.
right, so I just finished up my training session in the TYR L1 lifting shoes. First things first, let's talk about the comfort of these shoes when I had them on when I was lifting. These are a tiny little bit too small for me and I definitely noticed as soon as I put them on that my foot was bunching at the front and it was kind of pushing on my toe. Now, I don't know if that's because it is half a size or a size too small for me, or whether it's because the front of this shoe is extremely square. I noticed that it was super tight on my big toe, but then I had loads of room around on my little toes. I did still manage to run up to 180 kilo split jerk with these shoes on, so they're still performing pretty well. I'd say they felt a little bit thinner than my Nike Romelio 2. Like I definitely felt like I could feel the floor when I was planting with my front foot on the jerk a little bit more than that. I also did feel as though my foot was spilling out a little bit over the right hand side of this shoe when I was planting with my lead foot on the jerk. Having said that, in terms of how they felt around the heel, they felt really solid. And when I was moving into my split jerk position, the amount of movement in the front of the shoe felt really good. I also want to say that whatever the rubber is that they've used on the bottom of these shoes, it felt super nice and sticky when I was planting with my shoe. And for that reason, this shoe, I did really like it when I was doing the split jerk. However, getting to the nitty gritty of this, would I swap from my Nike Romelio 2 to the TY lifting shoe? The short answer is no. It didn't feel as comfortable for me as the Nike Romelio 2. It didn't feel as solid as my Nike Romelio 2 do. TYR, they've done a great cracking attempt at this for their first lifting shoe. I do still think it needs work before it's gonna be shoe that people are gonna choose over a Nike Romelio 2, if you can find them. However, does it make a good alternative? Potentially, yeah. TYR, you gotta remember this, guys, have paid a lot of athletes a lot of money to be wearing this shoe, which is why you're seeing a lot more of the top lifters using this shoe. TYR, if you pay me 50,000 US dollars, I will also wear this shoe. However, it's not gonna be the one that I'm gonna pick over my Night Radio 2 right now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the TYR L1 weightlifting shoe. As I said to you, I was gonna be open and honest about this lifting shoe, and I hope this review is gonna help you make a good decision whether it's gonna be the shoe for you or not. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what other shoes you want me to do a review of. I'd be more than happy to do so. Ah!